So, I've been kind of sitting on this figure for a while, and I've been wanting to review it, but here we go. So, of course, finally getting to review this guy. I've been wanting to review him for a minute, uh, but I kind of just had him, you know, sitting around. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, after I did the Hot Toys Toby uh, review, now I want to, uh, now I just want to, you know, review this guy. Just to kind of get over with, I guess, but uh, not exactly that, but I want to take a look at him. But, I mean, yeah, let's just take a look at this box, though, here quick. That very nice render of Toby. Looking pretty nice, you know, even though that uh, mask uh, shape wasn't exactly in the movie. Uh, it's more of the original trilogy kind of shape, but uh, we're not going to get into all of that right now. But uh, I got, of course, saying uh, Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man right there. You know, a bunch of logos and whatnot. You know, the Bandai and Tamashi. And, of course, you know, just kind of looking around, you can see the figure in the window there. Not much going on, on the side. Uh, back's looking nice. Uh... You know, side, you know, not too much. Very nice look. Um, I do really like the uh, back here. It's very nice, simple, and clean. Uh, most figure arts boxes just have a lot going on. Uh, but this one's just very nice and, you know, simple. Uh, and, of course, you know, the top as I spin around and drop it. Uh, nothing too crazy. And, you know, of course, you know, the bottom's not going to be nothing too crazy. Honestly, like, I'm not even going to lie. This figure is fucking amazing. And, of course, having the figure right here up front and center, he looks just crazy, crazy good. I mean, he just looks so good. Uh, figure Arts really did a really good job with this guy. And uh, I actually do have some custom heads coming in for him and for my custom black suit. Uh, but anyway, we'll just take a look at uh, the details up here, front and center. And as you can see, he is very, very nicely sculpted. Uh, this brick pattern here is just, you know, it's very, very fine, like, like sculpting. It's very fine, but, you know, it's not so fine to the point where you kind of lose the uh, sculpting, much, you know, how the uh, kind of Legends figures sculpting is, where that's way too fine to the point where you can't even see it. But yeah, the the sculpt work on it is just really, really, really good. And I think they got his proportions right. Everything looks good. The paint work is very, very clean. He's a clean looking figure and he just looks so, so good. I definitely recommend it if, you know, if nobody has this figure, you definitely should get it. Especially if you're a Raimi fan like, like I am. This thing is just great. But... Yeah, I mean, this thing is crazy, crazy good. Love the kind of shading on it there a little bit. For what this figure is and what it can do, it's great. And, of course, the armpits, or armpits aren't uh, really painted. But, of course, you can see some small uh, little uh, kind of shade work there around the uh, kind of thigh area. Um, I wish they put a little bit of shade work in some other areas because, as you can see... Uh, some areas could have used it, you know, maybe some, you know, muscle toning, but, you know, it's not, it's not bad. I mean, it is a, still a very good figure. The spider symbol is painted up perfectly. Of course, I did, you know, customize the eyes, so there is, you know, chrome on it and a, uh, gunmetal-ish type of, uh, silvery gray. Uh, I wish the, uh, arm, like, kind of, uh, elbow joints were maybe dual-colored because they're a little bit unsightly in certain looks, but it's not too bad. Uh, the back spider symbol is painted up very nice and sculpted very well. Uh, it is based off the No Way Home suit, um, so his proportions and everything are, you know, basically, you know, No Way Home based. Uh, I do like how the, uh, he, he does have the red soles underneath on his shoes, and of course there's the, uh, kind of gibberish on the bottom of him. Uh, but yeah, I did, you know, of course, paint the eyes and everything. I do wish they had the armpits kind of, you know, painted or somewhat of something there. Because it does look a little unsightly when you move the arms. Uh, but that's the only part of him that's really unpainted besides of the joints, of course. But yeah, I mean, he doesn't look too, too bad. And of course, you know, that head sculpt is very nice. I think it's painted up pretty, pretty well. I have no issues with the paint with this guy. And, of course, you know, just looking at that head sculpt. It is the No Way Home mask shape, so it doesn't look exactly like the Raimi, you know, trilogy look. 
uh, but it is more of the no way home look. Uh, but I do have those custom heads that are going to fix that. So that way I do have a more Raimi trilogy looking Spidey. And I will also, you know, do a video on that once I get them. Uh, but yeah, he does look pretty good, all things considered. And yeah, I mean, there's not too, too much left to go over on this guy. Uh, as far as paint detail, because I mean, there's just, there's a lot to love with this thing. And I think that it is definitely something that people should pick up if you are a Raimi fan. And just from all angles, he just looks so perfect. But yeah, I mean, as far as that goes, we'll set him aside and we'll basically dive a little deeper and take a look at some other stuff that this guy has. So yeah, I definitely recommend this already. Now let's take a look at his accessories. So as far as accessories go... Uh, you do get quite a bit with him, and we'll take a look at each one individually right about now. So, fresh out of the box, he does come with, of course, two punchy hands. So, uh, yeah, these fists are, you know, pretty nicely detailed. Uh, the webbing's, you know, very clean. This figure has just very, very clean webbing all around. So, yeah, he does come with those two fists. And, of course, he has to come with his crawlers or open hands. He does come with his classic Spidey Thwippers, painted up very, very nicely, of course. You know, you can't have a Spider-Man figure without Thwippers, so there those are. And he has these two, what you would might think are just, you know, thumbs-up hands, but they are actually accessories for, you know, him uh, to hold webs. So he isn't just giving himself a thumbs-up, but, you know, you can do that. But these are mainly for his web accessories, which we will uh, go over and get into. And, of course, he comes with his kind of, you know, open hands. So, uh, these are mainly for holding his masks. Or, like, well, I guess they aren't really too, like, open hands. But, you know, they're more, like, grippy open hands. Uh, but these are mainly, you know, for him holding his mask. And, of course, there are sections of it unpainted, I assume. So, that way, uh, the paint doesn't rub off. But, of course, you know, these are, you know, very, very nice-looking relaxed hands. So, yep, he, uh, he does come with those. And, of course, what would a No Way Home Spidey be without some pointer fingers? You know, to do the super silly, funny meme of, uh, you know, having a couple of Spider-Man characters point at each other. Or you could use these for, you know, his uh, kind of a dance thing in Spider-Man 3 if you wanted to. Uh, but, you know, you wouldn't use this suit for that. But, trust me, I got something in store. And, of course... He does have this uh, mask accessory to use with those, of course, you know, slightly open, you know, grippy hands. Now, this thing is painted up pretty well. I think there's only some sections that aren't painted with the webbing. Uh, but for the most part, it's painted, you know, uh, except for, you know, some areas. But, of course, I did customize this one, too, with the, you know, the chrome lenses and the uh, uh, gunmetal gray kind of rims just to give it that more Spider-Man 3 mask colorization because i definitely just prefer that but i will show how that works with him here right now and bringing back in the figure uh just kind of having these kind of open gesture hands on you kind of just slip the thumb through uh with uh that groove specifically uh you don't have to do that one specifically but it's just better with that one uh and you can you know have him you know hold his mask and it looks pretty great. I'm glad that this, you know, this is an accessory, of course. And it does, you know, work out pretty well. You know, maybe not with his uh, masked head sculpt on, but it does work pretty well. Now, speaking of head sculpts, here is his unmasked head sculpt. And this thing is beautiful. Also, did not realize that there was some sort of, like, seam there. Um, yeah, I don't know about that. But as you can see, he has this kind of collar piece with the suit portion still attached and around the neck and it looks quite good actually and of course the the hair sculpt is really great everything just looks really really nice and nicely painted and i don't know something about like this it being at such a small scale yet being able to pull off this kind of you know this you know t of course toby's look everything it's honestly pretty like surprising i mean just taking a look close up on that face I mean, that is Toby. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. Every single, you know, little bit of sculpt work, every angle, it looks like Toby. And 
They even have the uh, kind of like uh, stubble on his face that he did have in the movie. And it just looks perfect. I mean, it's just as good as the Hot Toys figure. And of course, he does come with two uh, kind of expressions. So here's the other one where it's kind of just like a smiling mouth. This one, eh, I could take it or leave it. It just kind of, like, it still looks like Toby a little bit, but in some areas it feels like it gets a little bit lost, but uh, it is a small scale, so, like, I'm not really too, uh, you know, beat up about it, but, of course, you know, the hair in the back's a little bit different, looks a little more uh, ruffled, uh, but, yeah, I mean, he does come with this head, too, as well, and, you know, it's, again, it's very nicely painted up and everything, uh, not too, too much to say on it, but I will show you how to swap them out. So, bringing back in Toby here, what we're just going to do is just grab at the neck here and just kind of pull straight up. And it'll just pop off that ball joint right there. And then we'll just bring in our kind of unmasked head and just kind of pop it into that neck joint. Like so. It might be a little bit hard to get it in there, but it will pop in. And you just got to kind of make sure you uh, grab it by the neck and just put it in there like so. Uh, it's going to be very, very stiff. And just make sure to kind of straighten it out so way his Adam's apple is facing forward. But there you go. And that is pretty much the uh, unmasked head onto the body. And it looks pretty good. And, I mean, you know, it is it is Tobey Maguire. Uh, and, of course, you can bring in the mask accessory with the mask holding hands. And just kind of have him hold his mask there with the uh, unmasked head. Uh but, you know, I'm probably not going to display him with the unmasked head. I, I like to have my Spider-Man masked. Uh, but that's just that's a personal preference. But I am happy that the option is there to have that. And, uh, of course, you know, to swap out the uh, unmasked heads, you just kind of <laughs> take it off. And that, his head kind of flung somewhere. But uh, you just kind of take it off. And then you just bring in the other head here and just kind of put it in like so and it should just snap right on uh might be a little bit difficult because this joint likes to move quite a bit uh but just you know just kind of position it and then just get it on there and it should just pop right on and there you go there's the other unmasked head right there on and you know looking pretty good uh definitely my least favorite of the two but it still it still does the job and you know doesn't look too too bad so yeah, now we're going to move on to the web accessories. So he does have quite a few here. He does have these kind of small ones, uh, which I probably won't use uh, ever, maybe. I don't know, maybe for photos. Uh, but uh, you check my Instagram for those photos. But uh, yeah, they, uh, they don't look too, too bad. Uh, you know, they're just kind of small. Uh, I'd probably much rather use these ones if I'm using any of them because he does come with these two kind of medium range kind of uh, web accessories. So I'd probably use these ones a little bit more uh, just because I just feel like they're a little bit more on the dynamic side. And he does, of course, come with one last web accessory, which is this very big uh, kind of long one. And this one's just pretty much used for the uh, web swinging kind of poses and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, as you can see, it's you know, very, very long, very uh, nicely sculpted. Uh, it does look like a web, but I will show you how to use each one. Now bring in the figure again. Uh, you're going to want to take the hand off and, uh, be very careful when you do this. You don't want to break these webs, but it should just, uh, kind of, you know, using the ring on the web, you just kind of ring it around the uh, ball joint and then you place a hand in. Uh, I'm not really a big fan of this method, uh, just because I feel like I'm going to break the webs every time I try to do this. But you just kind of pop the hand on, and it is very difficult to get these in because it's so small. Uh, so you just kind of put the ring around the uh, ball joint there, and then you try to just get it on there. It should just pop on, but, you know, of course, you know, it's really hard <laughs> because of how small it is. But once you do get it on there, it does look pretty good. And, it you know, it does the job, but it's just it's just too small for me, and you know, it's just not something I'm going to be using uh, all that much, uh, maybe, of course, you know, yeah, just for pictures, but, of course, here's the small one, and it doesn't look bad, it's just, I don't know, it's just a little, a little too small for, uh, my particular, um, preference, of course, here's the, uh, medium range one, uh, 
But yeah, I mean, it doesn't look too, too bad. I do like the fact that uh, it is on the wrist itself and not, you know, specifically on the hand. So if you were to move the wrist, it would stay in place. Now, moving on to the kind of, you know, bigger uh, web piece, you're going to want to grab the hand that basically looks like he's giving a thumbs up, uh, but it is definitely not a thumbs up hand. And they're just going to take the kind of angular end of the uh, long web and it's just going to, you're just going to feed it into that hole in the hand and then it is pretty much done. Uh, you just kind of put it in the hand like so, put it in all the way, make sure it's a little snug there. And there he is holding the web so you can have him in some kind of uh, web swinging poses and it looks pretty good and definitely a lot better than the uh, smaller bits. Now let's get into articulation. So to start off uh, with the head here, of course, the head can look down pretty far, basically straight to the ground, and it can look up pretty decently far. I wish it'd go up a little bit more, uh, but I think it goes up, you know, quite a considerable amount. And of course, there is a full 360 rotation. There is uh, a lot of movement in the neck too, as well, uh, and of course, you know, the head, of course. And then he does have amazing side to side, so you can get off some really nice gesture poses right there. And then, of course, for the uh, arms here, he does have a kind of butterfly joint that's on like a ball joint. So you just move it, you know, back about that far. And of course, you can go forward pretty far too. The arm can go up about that far, also util utilizing the uh, butterfly joint, which is pretty crazy. Uh, and of course, the arm can go pretty much all the way around a full 360 around the shoulder there and then he does have a bicep swivel of course that goes all the way around he does have double jointed elbows that goes pretty much almost all the way and the wrists do uh, swivel and hinge like so and then obviously you know for the torso here he does have a diaphragm joint that goes all the way around and he does have a kind of stomach diaphragm joint, uh, which can make him go side to side pretty well. And he can go forward about that far, which is pretty insane. He can go back about that far, which is also pretty good. And then as far as for the uh, leg area, they can go up about that far, back pretty much all the way. And he does have this kind of butt articulation, uh, but he can do some pretty decent splits and as far as the uh kind of butt articulation you can move those around too as well if you wanted to make them kind of torque a little bit but that's just up to you uh he does have a thigh swivel right there double jointed knees that pretty much go all the way and he does have foot articulation goes up about that far down pretty much all the way toe articulation and he does have an ankle pivot that does go side to side like so uh it's not too too bad it's a little stiff but it's not bad uh but yeah that is pretty much it for most articulation um he is a very good spider-man figure but let's get on to some poses Hope you enjoyed the little pose test there but now that posing is out of the way i think it's about time we get into the scale so of course this figure is going to be probably you know <laughs> around the six inch range but of course here is the original uh toy biz 2002 toby mcguire spider-man figure and as you can see uh well obviously toy biz is a little bit bigger uh toy biz is more of the that true six inch well uh, figure arts is close around the six inch not you know not too too much but uh yeah uh, oh there he goes anyway here is the marvel legends toby figure from the no way home uh three pack and you know of course the uh the legend is a little bit bigger but i mean <laughs> the figure arts one is obviously the better looking one uh, even though i did paint and customize my marvel legends 
Um, I still think the figure arts one is a lot better than the Marvel Legends one, but to be honest, I like both of them for, you know, certain reasons and just, I don't know. I think both of them are great. Uh, I think the Marvel Legends one definitely has a lot of issues, um, that, uh, you know, can't be done, uh, but that the figure arts can do, which, you know, main, the main thing was the color. I feel like the colors on the figure arts, the, like the stock color is, is perfect. Uh, while the Marvel Legends one was just, it was a little too bright. And, you know, just showing that, uh, something the Marvel Legends one can't do that, uh, the figure arts one definitely can. Let me just get this Marvel Legends one, uh, just in some sort of a pose here. Like, it just, I don't know, like, it just can't, it just can't do this, uh, crouching pose. So, but I am gonna show again, if none of you guys have watched my video on the Marvel Legends one, that is as far as you can get with it. Another thing I kind of wanted to, uh, kind of compare is both the unmasked heads for the legends and the figure arts one now i think both of these are great i don't think that there's any problems with them uh, i do think the figure arts one definitely it just feels a lot more like the no way home version while the marvel legends one this feels like original trilogy toby's head i don't know because it just looks younger and much more full of life rather than i'm not saying that toby's not full of life but i mean y you know what i mean and just kind of for a kind of goofy little comparison here, here's the Hot Toys, uh, No Way Home, uh, kind of a Toby figure. Uh, and of course, you know, obviously the scale is going to be way, way, way off because this is a 12 inch Hot Toys figure. But for any of you who do own this Hot Toys figure, um, this is pretty much, you know, what the scaling is going to be. Uh, I did do a video on this Hot Toys figure already. But that is pretty much how he looks next to the Hot Toys Toby Maguire Spider-Man. And for just uh, two uh, more final Spidey comparisons. Here he is next to the Marvel Legends Final Swing Tom Holland Spidey uh, figure. Just in case you wanted to uh, kind of mix and match with the figure arts and Marvel Legends to have the three Spideys together. Um, it kind of works and it kind of doesn't. Um, just, you know... Just because the the scale a little bit. Uh, and, of course, here is the Marvel Legends uh, Andrew Garfield Spidey. Uh, and, you know, honestly, this this doesn't look too, too bad. Uh, it's a little off, but it's not horrible. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the uh, Spidey comparisons. But now let's do uh, some villain comparisons. So here's the uh, uh, figure. It's one, of course. Um, uh, I just want to uh, kind of show off some of the uh, villains. So we'll uh, show off... Uh, the Toy Biz Green Goblin. So this is pretty much how the old original Toy Biz Goblin looks next to uh, this figure arts Toby. And, I mean, it's alright. Uh, this Goblin, though, has so many issues. I mean, he's skinny, he's lanky, his joints are kind of eh. But, I mean, it was a really good figure for the time. And it was the only uh, Willem Dafoe Goblin figure that we had that was really good. Uh, until, of course, Marvel Legends came in, which I will show off to as well. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much him next to the, uh, uh, Toy Biz one, and it, it can work, it's just, I don't know, I definitely wouldn't recommend the Toy Biz one, but, of course, here is the Marvel Legends, uh, Goblin, and I think he looks pretty decent next to him, not too, too bad. And getting right along, so I don't make this video way too long than it needs to be, here is the old Toy Biz Doc Ock, um... Yeah, this Doc Ock has shown a little bit of age. Not too much, but uh, a little bit. It's still a good Doc Ock figure, in my opinion. But, yeah, there is a little bit of age to it. He uh, definitely just does not want to really stand all that well, so I have to kind of hold him. Uh, scaling doesn't doesn't work uh, Doesn't work too bad. Uh, but, you know, definitely having a newer figure paired with uh, old Toy Biz figures doesn't exactly work the best. But, uh, of course, we did get a new Doc Ock, um, which I'll show in a second here. But this, uh, this figure, this figure is not, you know, too terribly bad when, uh, compared to other figures. So, uh, just, I'm gonna bring in that Green Goblin back again because, uh, I kinda didn't, there's, there's, there's some things I wanna go over too. Um, this Green Goblin, a little bit too big, uh, and to be honest, the, uh, the scaling is a little... Um, I don't know. I, I noticed when I, when I did put it next to him, uh, that he was a little, little smaller than Goblin, so I don't think that this scale would actually work out that well, uh, but 
Uh, this is a really great goblin figure, and I already did a video on him, so if you want to check that out. It is an older style video, so it's not going to be as, um, you know, good or interesting as how my videos are now, um, if they are good or interesting. But anyway, uh, here's the Pocket World Toys uh, Green Goblin, which I do want to do a video on sometime. It's basically like a mini scale Hot Toys figure, and I think these two actually look good together. And I actually do have these guys uh, posed up next to each other while they're on the shelf. Um, I do actually quite like how they look together. The The scaling is, is great. Uh, the Pocket World Toys uh, Green Goblin does have some issues. Uh, which I will get into when I do a video on him. Because I am kind of looking to sell him. But, yeah, I mean, the scale doesn't look too bad. I do think the mask on the Pocket World Toys Goblin is a little bit, you know, a little weird and off-putting. But, uh... Of course, them together doesn't look too, too bad. And it is a nice little green goblin. It's just, I don't know. I bought it thinking I was going to really, really like it and keep it forever. But, uh, I don't know. I just, I'm not a huge fan of it that much anymore. Uh, mainly because it just got loose in the back with this costume. But, anyway, that's pretty much it for the uh, goblins. I don't have any other goblins to show off. But, here, finally, here is the uh, new Marvel Legends Doc Ock. Which also does not like to stand for some reason. Uh, I'm just going to lean him against there for a second. And uh, yeah, the the scaling of these guys isn't too, too bad. Um, I'm actually going to kind of bend these uh, tentacles back into place. So that way I can get a more accurate kind of scaling. Because he is just kind of standing on his tentacles. Which is kind of not fair. Uh, so let me just kind of fix this up a little bit. And just get these feet moving forward i did do a video on this doc ock already um but uh yeah i mean the scaling on these guys isn't too bad i feel like this would work out pretty well actually um i do like this doc ock and i i think i will, will kind of maybe pose these two guys together but uh, i don't know they they would i think they work out pretty well um and i know i'm just rambling on right now but uh yeah i mean he doesn't scale too bad with the legend Last but not least, some uh, Venom comparisons. Here he is next to my uh, custom Marvel Legends Topher Grace Venom. Uh, still don't know what to do with this Topher Grace Venom. Don't know what I want to do with it. Uh, I feel like it's too skinny. And I, I don't know. There's a lot I feel about this uh, Topher Grace Venom that I did up. But I don't know if I'm going to fix it or not. Or, you know, keep it as is. Not exactly sure. I kind of want to make them, you know, bigger, but I, not exactly sure how to do that. Um, but for right now, they, they, they work. Uh, the Marvel Legends one still just feels a bit bigger next to it. Uh, but anyway, uh, of course, next to the uh, Tom Hardy Venom, uh, since they are kind of rumored to be in Sequel Wars together. Uh, but anyway, yeah, he. Um, Obviously, Tom Hardy's Venom is going to tower tower over any Spider-Man figure right now at this point. But uh, they do look pretty decent together. But of course, as far as, you know, final thoughts go, um, this is a really great Toby figure. Um, there's not any problems I have with it. I really don't like the web accessories, at least the ringed ones. They get to put on the actual, like, physical, like wrist joint but that's just me that's just a personal preference i just feel like i'm gonna break them uh he does come with everything that you would expect a toby figure to come with so i mean there's really no problems there the paint works nice the sculpt works nice the articulation is great he has a lot of range of motion uh, the head sculpt the unmasked head sculpts are really really great uh you can pull off a lot of great poses with this guy his scaling kind of is a little bit all over the place when put next to other figures. But, I mean, it's, it's what you're going to get with figure arts. Figure arts is like a, it's like a smaller 6-inch range, I'd say. Um, but, yeah, I mean, everything on this figure is just nice and great and just perfect. Like, I don't have any problems with it. Um, I do have custom head sculpts coming for both this one and my... Uh, custom black suit one which i still haven't done a video on I, i'm gonna get to it uh this coming week uh but yeah i mean the only thing i do have a problem with is him standing up sometimes that's why right now you're seeing him kind of propped up against something because he doesn't really like to stand sometimes 
uh, but you can pull off a lot of great Spidey poses with them, and I do recommend it to anybody who is a, you know, a Toby fan, and, you know, getting this figure was pretty great, and I know there is, like, a bootleg version, two of them out there, uh, that also isn't too bad, so, I mean, there's also that as well, uh, that one is honestly, obviously, you know, on the smaller scale, but this is not a bad figure at all, and I think the price, you know, while it is a bit much, it's, it's not too bad, but, Anyway, that's it for this review. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one when I do the black suit. So, bye. <laughs>